Hi folks, Brian Pate from the Pate Realty Group here at Keller Williams Preferred up here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. It's time once again for Friday night prognostication on the Football Friday Planet and it's big week here in Wake Forest as Heritage crowd travels across town to visit the Wake Forest Cougars, the defending 4AA state champions. Before we get into that, let's look at our conference standings for the week. You'll see that this week's game is for all the marbles between Heritage and Wake Forest. The winner of this game is likely going to get a very, very high seed in the state football playoffs, so you can expect it to be a big one. But before we get to that, let's talk about what else is happening in the conference this week. So our first game this week is going to be Wakefield going on the road to Nightdale. Now Nightdale had a big surprise bump in the Max Preps ranking in the 4AA division, so they're actually currently in the playoffs. They're going to need this win over Wakefield in order to qualify for the state playoffs, so this is a big game for the Knights to defend their home turf. On the other side of the field, Wakefield still looking for that elusive first win of the season. and This is their last chance to get it. Otherwise, they go home early and start worrying about basketball season. I'm picking the Nightdale Knights to win this one. I think they're going to probably win it running away, and I hate it for Wakefield because there's some good folks over there. They just haven't had the best season and don't seem to be as organized as they could be. So I'm picking Nightdale to win this game. Our next game this week is going to be Corinth Holders. The Pirates travel down to Rollsville in order to take on the Rams. Now this game's really got no meaning, so this is all about pride. Neither one of these teams are going to make the state playoffs because of their rankings and max preps. So this game really doesn't matter about anything except for their pride. I'm expecting Rollsville to defend home turf here. The Pirates have had a hard time moving up to the 4A division, and it's been a tough year for them. And the Rams have a pretty decent offense. They're going to be working towards next year, trying to get some of those reps in in order to prep for next year's football season. So expect to see a lot of the young guys playing. But the Rams are going to walk away with this one. Expect them to win by at least two touchdowns. So that brings us to the big game of the week here in the area, and it's not just a big game in the area, it's a big game in the state. Number one, Wake Forest hosts number three, Heritage, in the big matchup of unbeatens. Both teams 10-0 coming into this one. Last week, both teams were up 14 to nothing with less than two minutes gone in the game. Heritage rolled up on Rollsville 55 to 6, and Wake Forest topped Wakefield 56 to nothing. Both teams playing with a running clock in the second half and getting a lot of time for, for second and third teamers. So far this season, Heritage has scored 457 points, while Wake Forest has scored 447, and they're both very close with their defenses, with Wake Forest only allowing 72 points against them and Heritage only allowing 78 points. I think this is going to be a little bit more of a defensive ball game. You've got at least nine Division I athletes that are going to be on the field at any given time. Three of them on the Heritage defense and a couple of them on the Heritage offense, and then Wake Forest has got their own brand of Division I players going all about it. So this is going to be a great slobber knocker, as we used to say in the South. That's a good term for, for these guys are going to beat each other up all night long. Now Wake Forest is going to look to lean on, on Heritage and wear them down and take control of the game in the second half. That's what happened last year during the third round playoff game. Heritage got up 14 to nothing and Wake Forest came storming back with a couple of turnovers. It's my opinion that turnovers and special teams are going to be really important, but ultimately this comes down to big athletes playing big time football in big time games. And you can expect to see that happen on Friday night. Whichever team steps up and plays the best game, that's who you're going to see coming out to win. Now, if we look at the Wake Forest offense, you got Chris James at quarterback, but so far this season is 68 of 101 attempts for 1,305 yards. He's got a 67.3 completion percentage, 15 TDs, 3 interceptions. He goes up against Duke rec recruit Gunnar Holmberg, who's 123 out of 178. 69.1% completion percentage and over 2,000 yards. He's got 24 TDs and only five interceptions. When the ball goes up on Friday night, it's going to be a big deal to come down with an intercept, interception, and that's going to be a huge play in the game. It'll be a big momentum switch, switch. It'll happen at some point. It's just a matter of which side it happens on. In the backfield, we've got some. We've got four fantastic running backs playing. You got Devin Lawrence, who's going to announce his college choice after the ball game on Friday night. He's the leading rusher for Wake Forest. 
He's, his supporting staff is Marquise Dunn and Demarcus Jones. These guys run that triple triple option wing T offense, and you really never know where the ball's going. And the big thing about Wake Forest offense is they've got all seniors on their offensive line. This is a really well-disciplined offensive line running that wing T, and you have to be in order to run it correctly. On the other side of the football, you got North Carolina State recruit Ricky Person in the backfield for Heritage, one of the leading rushers in the state, but he sat out the game two weeks ago uh, against Nightdale. Uh, he's got a, looks like he's got a little bit of a cast on his uh, right arm, so the, the Wake Forest defense will be trying to take advantage of that. He's got a total of 1,873 yards rushing and 33 touchdowns. Folks, this is going to be a barn burner. Last year in the third round of the playoffs, it was a huge game, and the whole town was electrified. It's Wednesday afternoon here in downtown Wake Forest, and people are already excited about this game. Tickets are being pre-sold. Who knows? It could possibly sell out in Trentini Stadium. This is going to be a fun atmosphere, and it's going to be the place to be seen and to see other people on Friday night. I'm going to recommend that you get there early and get yourself in the stadium by 6 o'clock to get a seat. Otherwise, you may find out that it's standing room only, and you may not even get into the stadium for this one. So it's Wake Forest against Heritage, the Huskies on the road. So who am I picking? I'm going to do my best Lee Corso impression. I don't have a big head to put on, but I do have the sweatshirt of the game. There it is, folks. For the first time in history, Heritage beats Wake Forest on the road this Friday night. I'll see you there. Let's go Huskies! Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down on the bottom, subscribe down here below, or comment on the video. We always love to hear our feedback. Also, don't forget that if you're thinking about selling a home, buying a home, or investing in real estate, please give me a call at 919-669-4575 or visit us on the web at paintrealty.com.